What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at the Mint Discs Bobcat. Now the numbers would indicate that it is a um, five speed. I believe they say it's a 5402.5. So the numbers would indicate that it is very, um, maybe a faster zone or maybe a Toro or something, maybe an approach disc. Um, so I have a collection here of several different companies approach discs or what I may use as approach discs and I'm gonna see what looks closest um, right off the bat the method this is um, in my opinion the go-to overstable backhand mid-range 5503 is so very similar flight numbers um, it is the wider uh, diameter than the Bobcat um, but the shape of that rib is very very similar Next up, we have the Zone. Um, Mint Discs might have been trying to recreate the Zone or maybe do it better. Um, I'm just guessing by this little undercut spot here that it is going to be better than the Zone at the forehand. Next up, we have the Pyro. Now, if I remember correctly, Mint Discs is manufactured uh, by MVP, and this is in their I think they call it the Sublime Plastic, which would be the equivalent to Plasma. So it's super pretty, super durable plastic. Um, it has the same um, basic idea of a shape, but it's a little bit blunter on the edge. It doesn't quite come out as far. This one feels a little bit sharper. And then we have the Toro, definitely a blocky build. Um, might have sat in my car for a little bit too long. Yikes. Um, we have the A5. I think the A5 is basically a recreation of the zone build, um, the zone mold. It feels very, very similar. And then Castaplast, we have the yarn here. Those are very similar. Those two molds. So we're going to be testing out the Bobcat. I'm also going to be bringing the yarn since it is so uh, similar. And then the two discs that I use in the slot for forehand and then my backhand, we're going to bring the pyro and the method. And we're here at Jackson Park. We're going to play some of the mid-range holes and see see how the, the Bobcat holds up. Stepping up to hole number one at Jackson Park from the short pad. Uh, it is 312 downhill, so can get a nice little warm up. I'm gonna try to hit this backhand gap. I also noticed, um, or I realized that the Bobcat 5402.5, the exact same flight numbers as the Pyro, which is 5402.5. So, ideally that would mean they fly very similar. I do prefer the way that the Pyro fits into my hand on a forehand just because it is a little bit more of a sharper rim but we'll see what happens today starting off with the method and then uh, yarn bobcat pyro oh yeah i love the method so much so while the bobcat may be a great disc and we'll see how it flies today it's gonna have to super over perform to knock the method at my body. I was a little bit more nose up with that one so it had a little bit more of a fight out. Every Bobcat comes with this stamp. I can only imagine that this was meant to be the uh, Bob Marley cat stamp. Yeah, so you can see how that uh, four glide compares to the five glide, starting to, to just fight out a little bit more than that method, which is why I love the method on the backhand. Pyro. I mean, they were all great shots. Um, the method obviously on the backhand is my go-to, so it's going to be a little bit closer, 
but they all flew super great. Let's go see what some more court, what some more of the holes on the course have this have in store. Why is it hard for me to talk right now? All right, it looks like uh, these two both fit, it w seem to fit more into the approach disc category. Um, maybe I just threw them poorly on the, on that last throw. Um, we are here at hole four. This one is, I think it's the one to the left. So 252 up through that wood, slight tuck to the left. I'm gonna be throwing these three. Um, any of the backhand holes with these, I'm gonna be throwing the method. Any of the forehand holes, I'm gonna be throwing the pyro because that's how those discs line up in my bag. Um, so anyway, bobcat, yarn, and then method. I like that stability. That's a really nice stability. Yeah, I think the Bobcat is a sleigh bit more stable than the yarn, and it's also, I think the yarn might be a four speed. It appears that the method is less stable, but it's not less stable, it's just glidier. So it tends to hold that drift a little bit longer. All right, let's go see where they ended up. This is kind of how I expected them to be when I got down here. The yarn was further back over there. The method's right here. The bobcat, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it the Bob Marley cat, is parked um, mainly because I was testing that flex and so I gave them a touch more annie than they probably needed. That bobcat has some really nice finish to it. No, I don't putt with those from circle two. Moving up to hole number five, it's in the shore right now, so only 212 feet. Back hands, so method's still on deck. Bobcat first. Yarn. It's like yarn balls, I can't hold on to it. Oh, that's too fast. He hit a tree. And then I'm telling you folks, there is just a method to the madness. It's too hard, or it's too easy to get over stable distance with a method. I was like, Ace Ryan. Hole number seven at Jackson Park. From this middle pad to the yellow basket is so much fun. It is basically just throw it flat, maybe a slight hyzer, and let it the disc do the work and just fade to the basket. Backhand, of course, not forehand. Um, we're going backhand again with the mids. Bob Marley cat, yarn, and then method. Um, what I'm noticing is the Bob Marley cat feels smaller, like it's a smaller diameter than a lot of normal mid ranges. And because of that, it feels more approach disc like, which means it has more variance in the, um, the slow speed stability, possibly, uh, which is why it does seem to fly a little bit more like an approach disc. But we're gonna throw them all here, see if we can get close. Okay, well, if you throw it straight into the ground, it never has a chance to get there. Yeah, that's good. It's just the yarn. I think it's I think it is a four speed. It just doesn't have the push or the glide that I get from the best backhand mid-range of all time, the method. Yeah, I skipped under the basket. We are here at Jackson Park, hole number nine. If you've watched my channel before, you may have seen me try to ace on this. I only have four discs today, um, but I'm gonna give it a shot with all four, because why not? Uh, if, I, if I were to say anything fast about the Bobcat, it feels like a quicker, overstable approach disc 
it feels amazing. It feels really good. It flies really good. It flies with a really nice stability. And if I were to go out and play a one disc round, I might consider playing with just a Bobcat. Um, as it is me trying to perform the best uh, to the best of my ability, having one disc to sort of fill two slots when I have two discs that are perfect for those two slots for me doesn't fit my personal game but Bob Bobcat or Bob Marley Cat whichever one you want flies absolutely amazing let's try to put him in the basket here Yeah, I'm too used to park jobs with that one. What was that a week ago? I had a forehand ace with a pyro, so let's try to uh, bring the heat with a pyro. Oh, that's too high. Okay, now I gotta go collect some discs that might have rolled. Anyways, see you on hole 10. Hole number 10 has a really nice drop in elevation, but it's only three, uh, yeah, 309. Pretty much dead straight, hooked a little bit left at the bottom. I'm gonna try to baby these in there. Maybe a soft flex. I don't want to speed past the basket. Also don't want to fade too far left. So it's gonna be a real touchy shot with some of these five speeds. hanging around past that one tree. Method's the only one that actually got there for me though. Now in all this video I've talked a lot about the approachability of this disc and how it feels like it's an approach disc. But for a lot of times when you're throwing approach discs, discs a lot of people throw approach discs on forehand so they're gonna want to know how it flies on a forehand. So I'm gonna take my forehand mid-range of choice, my pyro, anything sh over 100 feet and short of 250 feet on a forehand i'm throwing this pyro and then i'm going to be teaming it up with both the castaplast yarn and the bob marley cat this hole is hole number 12 it's 228 feet from the short pad right here I'm gonna go mint castaplast and then um, axiom Throw them on a forehand. Let's see how it holds up. How does a mold, how does this mold hold up? Okay. I can tell that I haven't thrown enough of those today because that hurt. I should have thrown the Bobcat last. Good instability. Is it not obvious enough that I haven't thrown enough forehands yet today? Like I said, these are my go-tos. Yeah, I need to throw a couple more. Yeah, okay, honestly, I threw the Pyro and the Bob Marley Cat very similar. And the fact that they're both produced by MVP and they both have the same exact flight numbers MVP is very, very consistent with their flight numbers since their plastic types actually change the flight numbers they put on their discs. So the fact that they have the same flight numbers means they're going to fly very, very similar. And they flew very, very, very similar. Let's go see what some more holes have in store. Hole number 15 is offering another little forehand hole. So it's about 278, but it's downhill. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get there if I hit it right. We do have what feels like a tiny bit of a head, maybe cross right to left wind. Um, so these forehands might get pushed down, but we'll see going 
Same word as before, Bobcat, Yarn, Pyro. I, yeah, this one has a very similar hand feel to my stabilizer. It's just mid-range, not approach test. It feels good. Oh, I turned it. Maybe that headwind is doing more than I thought it was. Let's go up there and see what it's like. Um, I would say that the Bobcat is the approach disc of mid-ranges almost. It's a really good mixture between mid-range and approach disc. I wouldn't necessarily putt with it because it's still got the mid-range qualities, but it's it's very similar to the to the zone in that way but more torque resistant than a zone, which is good. It's good to have a disc like that. Hole number 16 is gonna be our last backhand hole for today. Same order as before. I want to have a nice soft flex, land it soft, possibly skip past all the trees. The goal here is to get into the trees, hopefully get past the trees. Nice soft flex. Out there, super nice. Oh, nice little ground skip too. That was a lot, it was a better throw because it was lower. It had, it had less chance of going astray left. Um, method last. Last hole for today is going to be hole number 17. It is kind of a forehand dominant hole. It can be played as like a backhand mid or a backhand putter slight turnover, but it really does play better for a forehand. I have the wrong mid-range. I need the pyro. It's basically like 230, 240. Up there, straight to the right. I'm going to throw these all one last time uh the yarn and the bobcat i think i might even switch up and go stacked grip instead of the power grip just because this seemed to be a little bit too much i want to see what happens here when i uh throw them like my stabilizer so see how close we can get maybe even an ace run same order as before mint cast plastic axiom Yeah, that, the Bobcat is, it feels like in between stability of a Toro and a zone. It's like an, it's a, it's a really nice stability. It's good. I'm going to go uh, stacked grip with this one as well. Oh. Well, when you hit a tree, stop rolling, stop rolling. Okay. When you hit a tree like that, it will just kind of fall out of the ground, out of the sky. I love the pyro so much. And since we're here, let's just close it out right here, right now. Um, if you're looking to get an approach disc or an overstable midrange, definitely try out a bobcat they fly amazing very similar stabilities to like a rock three or zone or any of those other like approach discs but it does seem to have a little bit more speed similar to a mid-range so till next time guys see you out on the course oh there's a bunch of trees there